Let's get to the latest from SR Steel's NPA resolution attempt. CNBC TV18 now learns that the company's insolvency resolution professional has asked lenders to stop taking loan repayments for the next six months as a resolution is now expected for the company's 45,000 crore rupee debt by then. Ritha Singh is here and she was the one to first break that story uh, earlier uh, last week. Uh, Ritha, doesn't seem like lenders would be comfortable with this proposal. Uh, what has happened in the last two days where we've seen uh, back to back meetings on this issue? Well, absolutely. The lenders are absolutely not comfortable with the proposal that the insolvency resolution professional has put in front of them. Why? Well, yes, we're talking about a 45,000 crore debt to begin with. On top of that, what uh, the IRP has asked of the lenders is uh, that the little portion that they take out of the company's EBITDA to service uh, its debt obligations, which, you know, for last one year, for instance, amounted to 2,400 crore rupees only, uh, that is something as well that the I IRP for now proposes to take away. They say, uh, which is uh, Alvarez and Marcel in this case is uh, Satish Gupta. What he has proposed is uh, that for the next six months, while the case is under the NCLT, the lenders would not be getting these loan repayments and therefore they would have to forego close to 1500 crore rupees on this account. In addition, the second proposal that has been raised is about 800 crore rupees of uh, priority lending to run the company's operations for the next six months while it battles the insolvency process. Uh, this is also something again that the lenders are not comfortable with given that that at the end of that six month period, which is further extendable to 90 days, uh, this 800 crore rupees is the first sum that will be paid out. And therefore, you can understand there's some uh, you know, inhibition on the part of the secured lenders, at least. There will be a meeting today as well, which is, uh, as we understand, currently ongoing with the unsecured lenders to again take forward these proposals. But it seems that the lenders have sought some more time before they agree to any either of the two proposals. Okay.